Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to just come on today and discuss meditation and attunement and how these two wonderful tools are very beneficial and I feel quite necessary in our mediumship development and our spiritual progression and, and journey. I do feel like meditation is really the foundation of learning about your own soul, your own spirit, and I don't really think you can be a pure and clear channel for spirit without practicing some sort of meditation. People do many sorts of meditations. There are tons of modalities, but I do know you, you should practice at least one of them, if not two, and try a lot of them out and just see what resonates with you. Meditation to me is just being still, sitting in the moment, concentrating on your breath, and calming your mind as much as possible. I do not believe we can completely quiet our minds or halt our thoughts through our conscious minds. I don't think this is possible. I think if we weren't thinking at all and had no thoughts running through your conscious mind, you would be a spirit communicator and be in the spirit world. Basically, you'd be dead. So I don't think this is possible, but we can slow down our thoughts. We can relax our minds to the point where we should be able to just find that space between thoughts where one thought ends and before another begins and just stay there for as long as possible. I do feel like if you can stay in this space between your thoughts, even for a millisecond and then half a second and then a second, you create a portal to your subconscious. And I do know that it is through the subconscious that our soul, our spirit, spirit world and God communicate with us. So the more you can just sit there in the stillness, in the quiet, start by focusing on your breath and just allow your mind to become relaxed. As you continue to focus on your breath, you will start to move inward. You will start to feel and recognize your own spirit. You'll be able to shift your awareness to your own spirit. And I do believe like this is the beginning of our spiritual journey within mediumship, within healing, with whatever has to do with light work. If we're not recognizing and honoring our own spirit within meditation for the beginning, how can we communicate with the spirit world? We'd first have to acknowledge that we are all spirit living in this physical realm for this short time. And the more time you can go within, in that quiet space, and just sit with your own spirit, honor your own spirit, feel your own essence radiating from your spirit, the easier it is for us to commune with the spirit world and with God. So just go within, in that quiet space that you create, and you're sitting peacefully with music, without music, whatever you want, and just feel your own spirit. Feel the power that you have within yourself, within your spirit, and just sit. Try not to think too much. If your mind starts to wander, which is perfectly normal, just see if you can return to this space between your thoughts for as long as possible, and just allow the thoughts to fade away into nothing, and just sit and be quiet. The longer you can do this, the more you will start to hear your own spirit and hear what your spirit is telling you. Your spirit knows exactly what you need. Your spirit knows exactly what you need to do, but most of us can't hear it. It's a very subtle voice, I find, our own spirit. So the best way to really hear it is to just be in the quiet through meditation. Once you can do this, once you can meditate 10 minutes, build it up to 20, build it up to 30, 40, up to an hour, perhaps. It is quite amazing what you can find out about yourself, your own spirit, and what your sole purpose is. But to me, the point of meditation is really just to sit with yourself and sit in the quiet and just hear what your spirit is telling you. Feel your own spirit essence. And just be. Just be allowing all the stresses, all the worries in the physical world, which we all have, 
to just take a back seat for that half an hour, hour. Just be there for yourself. Make that time for yourself. The other thing I just want to say about meditation when you start is you have to look at meditation as not a reward, but something to look forward to. So definitely not a chore. So if you have things to do, if you have emails to answer, dishes to wash, children to take care of, animals to feed, whatever, do that all before so your mind can just be there. Because I guarantee if you have things to do after you meditate, your mind's going to be like, oh God, we'll I have to do this and I need to look at this. I need to read this email. I have to take care of this. So take care of all of that so you can give yourself this quiet time to just sit with yourself. Once you can meditate and you can really sit there with you, yourself and your own spirit, your own soul, you can move on to attunement. Attunement is basically, for those of you who um, practice Reiki, you're attuning to, um, in Reiki anyway, to the healing energies. But in terms of mediumship, when you attune, you're attuning to the spirit world. You're attuning to the essence of the spirit world. And you can actually take this further and you can attune to God. So once you can do this, meaning sitting in the silence and sitting in the quiet with your own spirit, you can start setting the intention to attune to the spirit world. And that's really, I find, where the fun starts. Because you can attune and set the intention of having a spirit world come closer, which is very important, I find. Just set the intention as you attune to the energies of spirit, to set the intention for the spirit world to come close. Just ask the spirit world to come be with you. Not for communication, not for bringing through a loved one, but just sit in the essence of spirit. And you'll see the longer you do this, you will feel the essence of the spirit world, the energy of the spirit world all around you. And when we sit in the energy of spirit, there's this beautiful transference of energy that happens. They get to know you, you get to know them, and it's quite beautiful. And that's really where you start to understand the power of the spirit world and that they are real. They are living beings, just without this physical meat suit that we have for the short time here on earth. But they are real. They have an essence. They have emotion. And you'll be able to feel that when you just sit in the presence of spirit. And as you do that, you can set out and push yourself and set the intention to ask your guides to come closer. Have your guides speak with you, give you counsel, give you advice, wisdom. It all comes when you attune to the energies of the spirit world. Just ask the spirit world to come closer. Tune to their energy. Tune to their love. It all works on the energy of love. Spirit world works, I feel, on the frequency of love. So send out your intention always with love, and you'll feel them coming closer. And they will work with you. They will speak with you. They will show you things. They will have you feel things. Just attune to the energy of the spirit world. And you've been able to sit there in this quiet space with your own spirit, just reach out to spirit and ask them, talk to me, counsel me, help me, talk to me about my journey. What can I do to improve my relationship with spirit? What can I do to be of service to the spirit world? You will hear the answers or perhaps see them or feel them or just know them. However they choose to communicate with you at this moment, that's how you will experience their wisdom, their answers to you. So the more you can do this, the better. Start with the meditation, sitting, developing your meditation practices, um, and just experiment with meditation. Are you better with the silence? Are you better with music? Are you better when you burn some incense or sage? Whatever, we're all individuals, thank God. But you have to find what works for you. Are you better sitting on a chair, on the couch, on the floor? The only thing I would suggest is not lying down because you can't fall asleep.
That's the only advice I can give in terms of meditation. Okay, that that I'm, I know. I definitely have fallen asleep when I first started, and it's not. Um, that's not meditation. That's sleeping. So, but the more you can meditate, and then go further into the attunements, and you'll see the more you can attune to the energy and essence of the spirit world. This just helps in your mediumship readings, whether it be one-on-one -on -one readings, platform readings, whatever. You will see the calmer and more relaxed you can get your mind to be, the easier it is for the spirit world to communicate with you. The easier and more comfortable it is for you to attune to the spirit world and feel their energy coming closer, you will be able to communicate with the spirit communicator way easier because you'll feel them coming. You will be able to constantly attune to their energy during a reading or during a platform presentation. And we always have to adjust and gauge our energy and our attunement to the spirit world. So the more you can attune and feel this energy of spirit coming close to you, the easier it will be for you to feel them and to monitor your attunement, to monitor how attuned you are at that moment through um, just knowing how it feels when the spirit world is close and we get close to the spirit world. Because we are also, I believe, within our attunement, we're moving closer to the spirit world. It's not just about spirit coming close to us, about calling them and having them come to us. We're also attuning our essence and our energy to the spirit world and we're going to them as well. It is a partnership. It's not something that they just come to us and they do everything. We have to meet them halfway. So the more you can just do this, meditate, quiet mind, still body, relaxed conscious mind, reaching out and attuning to spirit, tuning to God, feeling God. You can attune to God. You can go right to God. You can feel God. A lot of times if I'm doing an attunement for myself or for others, I will first have the attunement start with the spirit world and our spirit guides and try to bring a, a few loved ones close, my loved ones, your loved ones, just to feel their love and feel the support. And then I'll try to go higher and just see if we can attune ourselves to God the unconditional love of God as God's energy meets your energy darkness turns to light all is healed weakness turns to power it's just this cleansing this energy from God is completely cleansing and in a way you're renewed so just practice with all of this just try all the different meditation modalities that are out there, there are a ton of them, um, and find the one that resonates with you. Within the attunements, I find that to be pretty standard. You just have to set the intention and attune your energy to spirit, the spirit world. You can also attune yourself to your own spirit as well. But it all just starts by taking the first step. Everyone can meditate, believe me. I'm an example of that. My mind used to work at 9,000 miles an hour. I never thought I could meditate. And now I really can't go uh, more than a day or two without meditation and just sitting in the quiet. Because it just calms me. It centers me. Gives me power. Gives me strength. So whoever's looking to start meditating, just start. Start with five minutes. Start with 10 minutes. Just focus on your breath and build from there. Okay? Any questions, let me know. Um, I am a huge facilitator um, in meditation and its practices, so I'm always happy to help anybody that is in need. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye.